Welcome to the Garden of England, otherwise known as Kent. I'm out on my gravel bike on a ride I planned last night on Camus. I think it's mostly road, but uh, there's a little bit of off-road. I've already done a bit of the North Downs way. Uh, it's about 60K, but it should be very picturesque. So far the ride's been Short climbs, short descents, nothing too steep either way. I'm warmed up now. I was slightly chilly when I started. They do like a pub around here. Now I actually know this area because I was brought up around here. And I was just about to say, I don't remember that pub being there, the plough. There was a placard outside saying, established 1817. Anyway, we're heading towards the North Downs. I can see them in the distance. So if I'm going up there, I've got a big climb ahead of me. Damn, just went over a bump. Oh, done it again. Seat post is dropping. I didn't do it tight enough. Now that's slightly frustrating because I've only got 60K ahead of me today, which as you may know, if you've been watching, I'm trying to train for the NC500 and I want to be doing 100k. So the ride's a bit shorter today. Didn't want to stop. Wasn't going to mess around with any uh, GoPro shots, putting cameras on gate posts and flying past. None of that. Just ride. But it was quick. And now I think I'm going up towards the North Downs because it's starting to get steeper. Oh dear, this is a bad bit of planning on my part. This is Vigo Hill. I know Vigo Hill, because I've been down it. And I thought, when I came down it, bloody hell, that's steep. And I'm going the other way. Anyway, I'm up the top, I'm in Vigo. And it's flattened out, not surprisingly. So I don't think I'm gonna have any climbing for a while, because I'm so high. I've got to say it's been pretty lumpy since I got to the top of that big climb. Quite a few steep ups and downs on really quiet country roads, really narrow. Well, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> Lost loads of elevation on a really rubbish descent. I have to have my brakes on practically all the way down. This is another really long climb, but it's not nearly as steep as Vigo Hill. You can set out a ribbon on this one and just kind of knock it out. Yeah, it's still going up, so around the corner, but yeah, it's a nice climb. This is the sort of climb that suits me. This is where I am, heading towards Ainsford. Anyway, Romney Street. Country roads, tiny, narrow. It's just beautiful out here, absolutely lovely. So I'll take this time to help me find a way to stop hiding from myself. Where help is there to help me say these things I'm hiding from myself. This is full of well, I've been through the beautiful village stroke town of Eisford, Eisford, I don't know how you say it, very pretty. And I come out the other side, I'm in a narrow country lane that to be fair, if a car comes the other way, I'm not sure we're both gonna get through. It's a busy, busy wide road this. I'm gonna head for the footpath on the other side. Is that the M20 or the M2? Oh, I'm not sure. 
I'm on another of those narrow country lanes where I'm terrified of a car coming the other way. There's just no room here. Well, I've just taken the wrong turn and I couldn't turn around because the car right behind me and kept going and found a bench. And it's time for some food. I've been going an hour. No, I haven't. I've been going two hours. I've gone just over 40k. So, yeah, making good progress. But uh, I think I need to eat. Bought these brand new gloves yesterday, but they're kind of a bit uncomfortable. Don't know if you can see, but a bit of a mark on my hand there between my fingers. I'm kind of digging in. I didn't think you could have gloves that were uncomfortable, but I think I've managed to find some. Well, the gloves are gone. I've had a little sandwich. I've got about another 20k to go, so I'm going to push as hard as I can. I think there is some off-road on this section, so that will slow me down, but it will uh, keep my fitness going. I will say the weather is definitely warming up, even though there is a very grey cloud not far away from me. onto a byway I'm wondering whether I'm going to be hitting some off-road soon because I know there was some towards the end and I'm definitely getting towards the end well I didn't see any signs so I hope this is permissible it's certainly wide enough it's not like a footpath but I'm gonna go pretty steady I think Okay, it's a footpath. Found a sign. Had a bad feeling about it. It just seemed to be loads of walkers. <laughs> what is that place? It's called Cobbenwood Mausoleum. I'm gonna have to Google it to find out a bit more. This last section has been a bit of a nightmare. It's my fault plotting a route for a National Trust sort of park on a footpath that was never going to be pretty. Uh, God, where am I going? Oh, I'm going around to the right. But there's only walkers around and then I took a really narrow sort of unmade footpath which was really hard to get through. I did sneakily ride a couple of bits there's literally no one on these sections but uh, yeah this feels like a bit of a strange ending to a quite a fast ride ending at a very slow pace it is not right I am just going to go black line to outline. I'm going to make my own path because I can't see how to get back on route. Let's hope I can get through okay. Well, I'm back on track, I think. I've had a lot of problems getting lost and trying to pick up my route again. And not least of my issues has been the GoPro, which is now frozen five times on this ride. Five. And now it's locked up and like reset itself. So not been much fun with that, but I don't know how much of the footage I've taken has actually worked. So to recap, 
I've found myself back onto my route and I think down there is going to be the road. Well, on my way back, nearly finished this ride. It's been a great ride, without being amazing. I've enjoyed it overall, but it's been a bit sport by the rubbish off-road section I did towards the end. I guess I've got to take some responsibility for planning that in. And strangely, the road sections were more fun than the off-road. Don't often say that. But thank you for watching today. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.